today is going to be annoying. Oh, it is now because I've just put a knot in the cotton. Um, today I am putting on this lovely uh, steering wheel cover. Um, and I've already, it's actually going quite well, but as I turn the camera on, I managed to knot the cotton, which is not good. Now I can't unknot it. It's quite difficult because you double it, you double the cotton, and when you do that, you run the risk of going inside one piece when you shouldn't be and um, putting a needle through two pieces of cotton and tying a knot and oh god knows what um, I'm not going to film all of this and I'll tell you why because you need well you need to unknot the cotton um, you need complete concentration fitted the steering wheel cover there it is it's um, quite a therapeutic job to be honest you can buy them in all sorts of different stitching colors not not color of the color of the leather but the color of the stitching I went for gray because I couldn't decide between red and blue and when you can't decide between any colors you're always going to regret getting the one you got. So I've got grey because it's neutral. It goes with everything. It doesn't really um, detract from the colours at all. So um, that's that. So basically you get a whole load of... I don't know whether you can see that, but a whole load of cotton. A tough cotton. It's really hard to um, actually break it. Um, and then you start you start at a spoke here and you pull it tight get it nice and tight put it get it nice and tight here and then you weave in and out of the loops and you miss every other loop and pull it tight I mean it does when you go to do the next one it sort of slackens itself but you just keep it tight with one hand and feed it through with the other the needle is actually it's a needle but it's blunt on the end so you can't really poke it poke it through the leather and sort of mess your leather wheel up um, it's, it's quite blunt so it just feeds through the loops and you get this nice I don't know whether you can see this let's see if we can get you if I can you get this nice weave here which it sort of zigzags across it looks really good um, I was going to go for red because the dashboard, when you light up at night, is red. The radio is red. All the heater vent lights are red. Um, the dashboard's red. It, it just seemed like an obvious choice. But the back of the van's blue. So, you, as you can imagine, I was trying to work out which way to go. And in the end, I went for grey because... I just thought, well, if I did change the colour of anything, grey's going to go with it. There are a little bit, there are a couple of little slack bits here. You can't really get them tight. It's, it's really hard to get them tight because you're on a spoke. There's four spokes. They're all quite um, hard to pull it tight because of the shape of the spoke. But... It, yeah, I think it looks alright. 
I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I'm tired because it's taken me hours, not hours, but just it's concentration that's like really takes it out of you. But um, been listening to music, it's quite cold in the van, and that brings me to my next issue today. This morning, I fitted the heater in the back of the van. You can't actually see it, and I'm going to make that a different video because. To be honest, I haven't really videoed everything I've done to the van, and that's one reason is because I find it really hard to set the camera up. It takes forever to do anything. Um, I did the heater at work, which meant I could use the ramp, I could get underneath, the exhaust went in really easily after I sort of bent it into this position. Um, I've got the heater bolted to the floor under the bench, which it, and I'm going to cover it. I'm going to put it inside some sort of box um, and then carpet the box so that it's totally covered up. Maybe even soundproof the inside of the box so I'm not getting any of the noises coming from it. Um, the uh, pump, which will tick, it will go for hours on end, is going to be underneath the van outside so somebody else can get annoyed by that um i'll try and i'll try and uh dampen the noise down but as long as it, it doesn't wake people up at night and like on a camp you know what it's like on a campsite dead quiet at night and then you whack the heating on and all you can hear is and tick 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 i had that once uh in cornwall where the guy next to me had and we were all close close because it was a car park um he had a heater in his van but it was it sounded like a an actual um motor it was a like a motorbike engine ticking away and um he had it on for about half an hour and then switched it off but it, it wasn't annoying but it could have been if it had been the dead of night but um i'm not sure how loud this is going to be but the the heater's inside the van so with a bit of luck if i can deaden it on the inside and you can't hear it from the outside the only thing you might be able to hear is the tick 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 of the um of the pump so that's my next job the heater's in the exhaust is on the air intake's on the fuel pipes in position ish uh the next thing is to drop the tank put a stand pipe in the sender unit and pop your uncle uh, we'll we'll have heat which I haven't got now and it's absolutely freezing in here now so tomorrow I'm gonna wire the heater in and try and find somewhere nice for the um, control panel um, but today was all about steering wheels you can get these on eBay they're quite good perforated leather doesn't really smell like leather it smells a bit like an orange actually um yeah okay not bad worth 15 quid what can you say so um like subscribe ask me any questions about how we did this how i did this and how i felt about doing it because it wasn't i wasn't really scared about it i'm just not i don't do sewing um, my next door neighbour's sewing at this very moment my uh, upholstery so that's all going to go in and then I'll show you what that looks like that's going to look really neat because she's doing red uh, blue piping cream cushions blue piping it's going to look the bees knees so there you go that was a Saturday afternoon see you next time bye